What's up everybody? It's your boy Banky101 coming at you today with a Tech Tip Tuesday. And actually today's not a tech tip, technically. It is a YouTube tip. And the reason that I really, really wanted to do this is because there's a lot of viewers that are on my channel that um, are YouTubers as well. And because I have this tool, I am able to see something that most people are not able to see. And that is the fact that you... Most of you guys are not putting tags into your videos, and this is a huge, huge mistake. And why is this a huge mistake? It's fine if you're going on YouTube for uh, a hobby. If that's what you want to do is put your videos out there as a hobby. But if you want to put your videos out there and you're actually serious about this and you want to get views, you want to get subscribers to your channel, you need to be putting tags on your videos. They allow up to 500 characters, and I don't care what you put in there, you need to fill those 500 characters up as full as possible. And in a minute, I'm gonna go over TubeBuddy, which you're seeing on your screen, and what this tool can do for you. And for me, it's been one of the best investments ever. But the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you are filling up those tags. And what do you wanna do with your tags? Your tags need to be relevant to the videos that you're doing. And why do you need these tags? because you need to be able to be searched in YouTube and your tags. So for instance, this is my video and in a minute I'll get into what all these little green awesome numbers are. They help you get searched. So somebody's worth looking for something. This is one of a video I did not too long ago that's doing fairly decent how to get free ga games from GameStop and based off of your tags and based off your title and based off of your description is what helps when somebody types something in this little search en search engine to find your video. So you have your subscribers, which are basically, you get a certain percentage of them finding your videos, but you also wanna be discovered over time. You want people that are looking for whatever you're putting videos out there for to be able to find you. You want to be the number one resource for whatever that you're deciding to be the number one resource at. Like, I want to be the number one Call of Duty gaming channel. So I want people to find me when they're looking for Call of Duty gaming content. So in order to do that, one of the biggest things is your tags. YouTube is the second largest search engine that is out there. And it's second to Google and Google owns YouTube. So it's all a big formula of stuff. And Google has its own search algorithms and YouTube has its own algorithms in defining stuff. They don't let out what the exact formulas are or algorithms, but they're constantly changing. That's why at the beginning of this, or 20 in 2016 when they were talking about uh, people aren't being discovered, blah, blah, blah. Half of it's because about every year Google or YouTube tweaks something on their algorithm which makes some videos pop up and some others um, are not. And this is completely separate from like the sub box issue and the subscriber issues and all that stuff. So why is TubeBuddy one of your number one assets? Or at least for me. And also this is not a paid sponsored. I'm not sponsored by TubeBuddy. I just find this the best tool out there so far so you can go in here to your page you can go to your tags and you can fill these up with tags what TubeBuddy does for you is a whole slew of things but I'm going to talk about specifically their tag feature when I do tags I am able to put in a tag I'm able to see how often it's searched if it's an often searched term and if it's very competitive. So for instance, when I put in get free stuff from GameStop, if you were to type that in right now, I'm searched or I'm ranked number five. When I click on that tag, it opens up the TubeBuddy extension and it puts it up here and it lets me know that this is searched uh, a decent amount of time and it's a not very competitive. So they give it a score of 73 over 100. Usually 70 and above are really good. It's going to be a really dark green if it's 80 and above. And those are fantastic. That means you're usually within the top couple. Um, I'm in the Call of Duty 
area. So I'm a lot of the keywords there are very, very competitive. And TubeBuddy has a free option out there and it will give you this. You can search this, but it's only going to give you, I think, the first three or the first four of these search terms. So all you're going to see is here. What I'm able to do is see all of these and I can test all of these. So GameStop Call of Duty, I can click on that and I can see how well that ranks. It ranks 61. So I can go through and I can find these search terms. And when these numbers pop up, that means that I'm ranking very well for those search terms. And it's letting me know where I'm ranked. So right now I'm number five for this. 10, 11. Um, I think the first 10, you get on at least the front page. So if your thumbnail sticks out to them and they're searching that front page, they're going to click on your video. So you're going to be searched more. And this is a huge advantage versus just throwing stuff in there because I have thrown stuff in there. I go to some of my older videos and I upgrade, update these search terms and I put in somewhat relevant stuff to what, what was on there. And those don't come up at all because they're very highly um, searched and it's very competitive. So I've been looking for stuff that's decently searched and not competitive. That way you can get search terms so that people are actually looking at it. The millions of people that are looking at YouTube every day are actually, you know, these are search terms that they're putting in. So you're able to be seen for terms that are actually being searched that aren't very competitive, which is going to give you an edge because they're going to bring new viewers to your channel and hopefully you can convert them into subscribers. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what does this cost? I told you they have a free version and they also have um, three different steps, right? So like right now I have the pro version and the pro version, if you're looking at it, this is $9 a month. That's $108 a year. I got it for $36. How do you get it for $36? Well, you can go over here. They have a little discount section and I'm a newer channel. So I have less than 50,000 views. They cut that price in half and so that's what fifty dollars a year at four and a half dollars a month that's that's very that's less than you're gonna pay for a video game still worth it if you pay for it yearly they chop it down another 20 percent so you're getting 70 percent off oh granted it's not 36 dollars i paid probably close to 40 dollars right for the total but that is cheap that is so cheap if you can fork over $40 and you're a YouTuber, this is a tool you need. I am just touching on one feature of this. And again, I'm not an affiliate with TubeBuddy. I just find this tool extremely helpful. Other than you guys need to be filling out all of the tags and filling out that 500 character section in your videos, every video, in order to get people to your channel. The other thing that I want to talk about is that I think TubeBuddy and other tools like this are what's going to create the next YouTube stars or channels that are the go-to channels for YouTube. It might not be this year, it might not be next year, but in the coming years, these are going to be the onslaught of people. The people that use these type of tools are going to be the people that are running um, or have the popular channels on YouTube. And let me show you why. If you go out here and let's go to a PewDiePie, the largest YouTuber out there. And if we go to his l latest, latest video, we don't have to play it. But if you go down here, you can go to any video, any video out there and look at its tags and look at what PewDiePie puts for tags. So this video, the, he's got 1.2 million views on it. And I can guarantee that his v videos don't grow that much over time. This is about what it's going to have. He might get another 200,000 on it, but that's it. Could you imagine how well his videos would do if he was doing stuff that was actually searched and he was doing his tags correctly. The, the only reason that he has this is because he has this huge following, right? So he gets the initial reaction and that's about it. Now he has, we can mouse over his name. 
he has 3,000 videos. Now, if he had 3,000 videos that were good descriptions, good tags that were highly searched, he could completely dominate. He could have a lot more subscribers than he does, and he could have a lot more views than he does. So that's going to conclude the Tech Tip Tuesday, how you can improve your channel. Go out there. If you are not filling out all the tags, make sure you're filling out tags that are relevant to your video and make sure you're filling out the description with stuff that is relevant to your video. It's going to help you get discovered on YouTube by the random people that are out there looking for uh, whatever it is that you're putting out there. Make sure that you're doing that. And if you want to bump it up after a time, here's a way to get a fantastic tool. There are so many more features in this that I didn't go over or that you can do other than just the tags that this is so much worth it. It's so much worth it just for the tags alone. All the other extra stuff is added. So if you can spend the 40 bucks, I'd spend the 40 bucks, go out there and get this. You could probably do this. I know there's some other channels that are uh, sponsored by TubeBuddy. So you might be able to find like another 10% link out there and get it for 80% off, which is crazy. Uh, but definitely go out there, check it out. Hit me up in those comments below. If there's any questions, I'm more than willing to help anybody that has those questions. Hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe for more of this lovely content. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.